What would it look like if you entered a world full of innovations? Are you ready to experience the magical changes revealed by OpenAI? After an external inquiry resulted in the company's sudden firing and rehiring of CEO Sam Altman in November 2023, OpenAI said that it is adding him back to its board of directors and that it has complete trust in his leadership. According to OpenAI, the law firm Hilmer Hales Research concluded that Altman's firing was the result of a breakdown in the relationship and a lack of trust between Altman and the previous board. What would have led to this situation? Did you know that OpenAI is going to add three more board members after the rehiring of Sam Altman? The San Francisco artificial intelligence-based business is using these efforts to demonstrate to investors and consumers that it is making an effort to move past the internal fights that brought the company down last year and garnered international attention. The board's chair, Brett Taylor, stated in a written statement, We have unanimously determined that Sam and Greg are the ideal leaders for OpenAI. We were all surprised to see that OpenAI remained silent on the reasons behind Altman's November 17th dismissal by the board of directors for more than three months. A statement claimed that Altman's communications were not consistently candid, which made it more difficult for the board to carry out its duties. Along with him, the board's chairman, Greg Brockman, was dismissed and in response he resigned as president of the business. But now things are more clear and we can be happy that Altman is back in his game. Next comes the most anticipated news from OpenAI, which is the release of their new powerful tool, Sora. Since Altman revealed the text-to-video creation tool Sora in February 2024, it has been making ripples in the AI industry. Additionally, with its innovative features, the tool has captured the attention of social media users by producing films based on text prompts. When Sam Altman revealed Sora, he asked his fans to provide prompts for the application, which created a lot of buzz about the 60-second videos it generated. Moreover, with its outstanding capabilities, Sora has become a formidable competitor among video creation tools and has the potential to become the industry standard. Imagine creating a complete movie by using Sora alone. We can anticipate that this time is not so far away. Even though Sora has gained a lot of attention, the average public still cannot access it. But in a Wall Street Journal interview, Mira Murati, the chief technology officer of OpenAI, made an announcement that surprised everyone. Murati gave an overview of Sora's capabilities, highlighting its quick production of user-friendly films from basic text inputs. Now, Sora is exclusively available to a limited number of professionals, including designers, filmmakers, and visual artists. But this will soon change. Murati stated that the tool will be made available to the general public this year in 2024, which means we can anticipate the release in a few months. Interestingly, OpenAI intends to add sound to the films it generates by bringing a more realistic touch to the user experience and improving Sora even more. Morati outlined the company's more expansive plans for Sora, describing it as an adaptable instrument for content production and editing. Did you know that the majority of Sora's training data came from information that was either licensed or publicly available, using photos that were obtained from websites such as Shutterstock? Does this mean that we don't have to worry about privacy issues? Murati also emphasized OpenAI's dedication to privacy and moral application and confirmed that Sora will not produce videos with famous people and will watermark all outputs as a safety precaution. What do you think of Sora? Have you heard the allegations made by Elon Musk about OpenAI's activities? His words were so powerful that it might lead us to less usage of their AI products. In an unexpected event, the tech billionaire Elon Musk sued OpenAI and CEO Sam Altman, claiming that the AI business violated contracts that were made when Musk was involved in its formation in 2015. Musk claims that OpenAI has abandoned its initial charitable goal and is now more concerned with making money than using AI rather than to improve humankind. 
Additionally, Musk has suggested a special settlement for the legal conflict. On the social media platform X, he declared that if OpenAI agreed to rebrand it as Closed AI, he would withdraw his complaint. Moreover, the quirky businessman underlined how important it is that OpenAI change its name to reflect what he believes to be its actual goals. Does this mean that some secret insider fighting happened between Musk and OpenAI? And did that lead to the lawsuit? Musk said, change your name to closed AI and I will dismiss the lawsuit, implying that OpenAI must be honest about its objectives. Musk left OpenAI's board in 2018, arguing that the Microsoft-backed company profit-driven orientation goes against the original deal. Additionally, Musk's attorneys said that OpenAI's quest for profit goes against the fundamental ideas around which the company was founded. Imagine you were part of that organization and you have the power to make an impact. What actions might you take in this light? Want to know how OpenAI responded to Elon's allegations? OpenAI made public a series of personal emails that were sent and received on March 6. The business voiced dissatisfaction with Musk, saying that while he had motivated them to strive for more, Musk had become more antagonistic by launching a rival company and then suing OpenAI as it moved closer to its goal without his help. Even though Musk claimed his thoughts of OpenAI, the law saw that as child's play. Legal professionals have questioned the validity of Musk's claims of breach of contract and cast their doubt on the lawsuit's likelihood of success in court. However, the legal battle has highlighted internal divisions at OpenAI, especially with regard to its transparency in research, governance, and the development of artificial general intelligence. Additionally, the sudden termination of CEO Sam Altman and his subsequent reinstatement in November 2023 has intensified doubts that internal fights are happening within OpenAI. The legal firm, Wilmer Hale, had led an internal investigation into the circumstances behind Altman's firing and then subsequent reinstatement, which the corporation had started. Does this mean that the company is launching AI innovations despite all the internal struggles? And did it mean to cover up their weakness? Only time will tell. Now, let's look at another tech innovation from OpenAI, Superhuman AI has become a potent tool in the quickly changing field of AI integration and it provides consumers with a productive email experience. Superhuman AI has released Instant Reply, a new tool designed to increase user productivity. Did you know that the product was developed in partnership with OpenAI, the firm that created the well-known ChatGPT. According to HT Tech, Superhuman AI has already gained traction by enabling users to create concise and comprehensive emails in a matter of seconds, with an emphasis on streamlining email communication. According to the suite of AI technologies, teams can save over 10 million hours yearly giving users an additional four hours each week. Moreover, the features including email writing, document summarization, language translation, and more. Superhuman AI is positioned as a complete email assistant. Did you know that Instant Reply uses AI to automatically compose email responses? According to the business, for each chat, users are shown three pre-calculated draft replies that are ready to be delivered with a single touch or click. And that wraps up today's groundbreaking news on OpenAI's latest venture, GPT-5. If you found today's video informative, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, subscribe so you don't miss any new videos from us. Until next time.